everyone and welcome back to Wiggly Reads. Today I'm bringing you a kind of book themed video, kind of not, kind of just a Halloween themed video. It does count for books because as you can see by the title, I am going to be dressing up today as Anna Korlov from Anna Dressed in Blood. The thing with dressing up as book characters is that you don't always get a picture reference. Look at fan fiction and draw your basis off of that, but luckily I have two reference pictures that are actual canon, so on the book covers. So the only two I actually have is the Anna Justin Blood cover, which is her from Kind, which doesn't show me much other than the fact that she has black hair, pale skin, and a bloody dress. And then I also have the Girl of Nightmares cover, which kind of shows a bit of her face. Don't get too much with the makeup on this because it's very simplistic and based around the dress. However, we can also see that she doesn't wear shoes, which I'm not going to be doing because I don't like feet. And again, the black hair and the red bloody dress. Sash around it. This one has the sash around it as well. Basically, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I made her outfit, how I do my makeup. For my hair, I'm literally just going to leave it straight down. I believe she has, yep, she has a side parting on this side as well, so this is fine. However, she does seem to have it covering her eyes, so I'm probably going to like bring a bit more of the emo -y bangs back. And but I also have a character description of her, which is what I followed for everything else. So this is what I've based my look on. As first see is Anna in her monstrous form, flickering in and out as if she was trying to remain real. She has dark purplish veins cut through her pallid skin, onyx, oily onyx eyes with no whites to speak of, black lips and obsidian hair that moves like snakes suspended in air. So is that it was the only thing about her that was alive. Her outfit was the one she wore when she died, a white dress bloodied by her own blood, constantly floating. Her blood continues to drip from her down her legs and onto the floor. She excluded the aura of death, making Cass think she's a goddess of death, or Persephone, back from Hades. Later, after their first meeting, Cass returns to the mansion and sees Anna, who, after conversing for a while, turns to a less monstrous form. Hovering in air makes Anna taller than she really is, but Cass guesses that she's about five foot seven. She's taller than me, of course. Cass claims that she has soft violet eyes and a thoughtful face when she appears to him in her same form. She has dark brown, almost blackish hair that rests calmly at, at her back. She wears a white dress that is not bloodied, she is beautiful, or so Cass and his friends seem to think. So basically I'm kind of mixing these up a little bit. Obviously I have brown hair, got purple contacts. Me and Tia distinctly remembered her having purple eyes, and then when I read the description I saw that she actually has black eyes and a monstrous form, but I'm still going to be putting in purple contact lenses. I'm not going to be putting any blood on my legs, as I am wearing shoes for this and I don't want to bloody up the shoes. The dress I only paid like £5 for from a charity shop. For the makeup, I am definitely going to be doing the veins coming under my eyes I've never done that before and I'm kind of nervous about it but I think I can pull it off the two photos I'm going to be kind of combining a little bit is this one this one is the eyeshadow look I'm going to do she's not going to be crying and she's definitely not going to be drooling from her lips but I am going to do a black lip with this and for the veins I'm going to be following this one as well the veins on this one and we've got the eye on this one but without the tears and then I'm going to be doing a black lip Paling out my face, hoping for the best. The other two reference pictures I'm going to be looking at. This intro was really long, but I'm going to go in and show you my outfit, which I've already done, which you can maybe see behind me. Yep, there. I'm sorry that I'm going to be looking this way, because this is where my mirror is, but I feel like this angle is good enough that you can still capture what I'm doing on my face. First, let's get into the outfit.
in your way Cause you walked out so fast yesterday No, I don't think you're here to stay No, I don't think you're here to stay So tell me what you want Tell me how you want it Tell me all the reasons that you're running away I don't think you're here to stay No, I don't think you're here to stay No, no, no I just wanna be with you I just wanna be with you You know it.
was my Anna cosplay Halloween look and I I'm in love with it. So, 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 so in love with it. Really, really well. It's going to be a bitch to get off and I've definitely ruined this bra so I would recommend getting either nipple stickers or just a really old white bra you don't care about but I say nipple stickers because you can actually see the bra especially in this dress but obviously depending on what dress you get they may be different but I'm in love with this. I've got blood all up in my hair. That's why because I'm washing it today anyway. I'm going to be a bitch to take off but I have some makeup remover from Garnier so hopefully that will work and it also says on the back you can use baby oil or moisturizer to get rid of it as well and I'm also going for a very 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 long shower left. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you do recreate this look then please tag me on Instagram, on Twitter, post it to my Facebook, send it me as a message, do whatever you will. All my social medias are in the description down below as always and I definitely want to see if you recreate this. I think I did pretty well. Obviously I can't make my hair look like snakes but I think I've done pretty well with everything else and I can definitely tell who I am. One who knows Anna would hopefully be able to tell who I am. I love this so much. I want to wear this every single day of the year. It looks amazing. Oh my god I want to go outside and scare people. I just scared my mum with it. I know this was a long video. If it's not then how the hell did I edit this down to the, a short video? I don't know. If you enjoyed this video please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I post a booktube video unlike this kind of every single Thursday and a new weekly reading vlog every single Monday. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next week. Bye!